That opening face-off is brought to you by the O'Reilly Management Group of Scotia. Well, talk to them today about your financial game plan. Tigers do keep it in. Glove down by Josh Van Mulligan as the Tigers won the first two draws against one of the best face-off teams in the Western Hockey League, but now a room to run for Matt Lindgren. He'll be cut off by Saskatoon's own Reed Andres and his home Saskatoon Blades drop their opener to the Raiders. Here's a shot by Weir at the point. Taken away as St. Martin and Weisblatt with Gavin McKenna. Got a goal last year against the Winnipeg Ice in game three of that Eastern Conference quarterfinal against Winnipeg. Look out, Hunter St. Martin. Lowering the boom early as both teams are. Right, it's a, a true first date between these two. Trying to figure it out. As here's a long shot by Parsons. Didn't get through. Picked up once more and the Rebels will get rid of the puck. That opening faceoff again brought to you by the Orm will defend and Gavin McKenna almost picked the man's pocket. Actually ends up having it one on three on an island. Waits makes a couple moves now. Krebs one timer, not much on it. Stopped by Witzke, the rebound. And another drive by McKenna. He'll settle the puck down into the high slot. Wise but now it's for Krebs a shot. That hits Dwayne Jean Jr.'s skate. And that'll roll into the near corner as Josephson trying to clear it out. As now the Rebels hemmed in again. McKenna trying to dig it out. As the Rebels and Tigers no score through the first three and a half. Good start for the home side. You won home ice in the first round of the playoffs. And the Tigers achieved that. Two weeks ago, here's McKenna feathering the puck ahead. Going there was Weisblatt, knocked down, and Weir will get rid of it. Now it's Dwayne Jean Jr. to center as he'll be watched quickly by Tomas Mercek. Now it's Weisblatt ahead for McKenna, but that's turned back. Fabrizi will double back. He's back after a long absence as well as a vital piece of that defense corps for the Rebels. And now it will be similar to the Tigers' Nate Corbet. will play up front. So Oasis Weisblatt against Talon Brakely, the puck deep and Rebel or the, in the Tigers' own long shot by Bernie as he pickpocketed the breakout from Bogdan's Hodis and Gavin McKenna. As Jack Kaczkowski takes a hard check early, and he'll let Matthew Gard know that the 07 from St. Albert, part of Team Alberta, the, the Canada Winter Games, that's chipped ahead. McKenna to St. Martin's got a trailer, hands off to McKenna. Trailer Kaczkowski winds and fires, redirected, loose puck, wise flat, scores! Lindstrom. Them Delta boys at it again. They're having fun, but no worse for wear. This is the Western Hockey League playoffs, so it's a long way to go. And this team hasn't been introduced to playoff Gavin McKenna yet. Got a taste of it last year. But Oasis Wiseblad, who will lob the puck in, the former Calgary Bison, and an 4 standout, 12th overall pick in that draft so many years ago. Kalen Lind walks in, long shot as Lind goes after. Good to see Kalen Lind. Oh, it was a great quote from Brian Schweitzer, Swift Kurt Mesonat, the third largest city in Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> Something to be said for that, isn't there? But here's Whitehorse Yukon's Gavin McKenna, one on three, makes a move, dipsy doodles, but can't hang on to the puck. It's a reach up in the air, and now settled by Talon Brinkley. Cross ice pass on a feed for Josephson, but icing it was Brett Parsons, face off specialist, wins the draw. Here's Oasis Wise, but to McKenna, he'll roll back and now just fire a grenade, and that's Blocker. To Last chance to throw it to Woodski. Tigers win the draw again. Faceoffs have been really good in this first period for Madison Hats, and taking a page out of the Rebels playbook. Here's McKenna across. Parsons in. Blocker stopped by Woodski. A couple drives later, the Rebels do finally get it free. Krebs back is down to 10 seconds in the four on four. Now Weisblatt will wind up trying to feed for McKenna. That's blocked by Carson Latimer. He's got the full bubble on. He did take a puck to the face and had a jaw issue. Last time we checked, and now it's five aside. Gavin McKenna halfway through this first period. Tigers leading two to one. Weisblatt makes a move through center. Now onside, he's on a five Rebel Island, and Red Deer's going to win that matchup five times out of five. But the Tigers take it back off the wall. Glove for McKenzie. Ahead, Harsani doing that. Gets it to him. His drive rips it wide on the far side. Kaczkowski sells the puck down. Be a hard rib. And Andrew Vasha did it shortly after. Face-off win by the Rebels, but the first man to the puck was Gavin McKenna, and the Tigers will go after it. Derek Thurston trying to clear, but it's held on the far point by Jack Kaczkowski, who should have a point on that goal from Andrew Basham. Or I should say, actually, on Oasis Wise, but my apologies. Now Dwayne Jean Jr. trying to walk in, but the Rebels were offside. And we've been sticky so far in this first period, you know? Very. Face-off win by the Tigers, they'll exit. As they lead two to nothing, that score brought to you by Murray Hyundai, home of the five-year, 100,000 kilometer warranty. As Mayo 
Absorbs a hard bump from Hunter St. Martin, but the Rebels will just go with the high lob out to center. Glove down by Wiseblatt trying to get it free, and he had to get rid of it as he had a couple of missiles pointed right at him. At him. As now Latimer just feathers out ahead for Lynn, one-on-one -on -one with Andres. He gets his stick caught up in Lynn in transition, but now Mercic looks to exit. Here's Lindstrom, checks back in. He'll have McKenna keeping, holds, no shot yet. Drops off, open, Mercic and rips it. And just high, Lindstrom's gonna watch and pass off to Mercic, but taken away by the Rebels. Here's Catch, go with their four check. Now they have to back up as Formatic to the middle. Taken back by Red Deer, but the Tigers recover. As St. Martin, just a soft lob, and Luke Bluswick, forgot to mention the affiliate in one of those picks in the that Gavin McKenna draft. Later, but a huge stalwart, one got that game-winning goal in the Canada Sports School Hockey League Championship. He scored big goals before. I've called one of them. Here's a chance, loose, but to the point, Mayo trying to settle the puck down. Now, Lindgren tracking the puck for a moment for Red Deer. Is there in the offensive zone. Took him a long time to get going, but still nothing to show for on the score sheet. It's 2 nothing Tigers. As Nate Corbet now overskates the puck, able to get it right back to Wise, but out of his reach. Forward groups and how exactly he's going to deploy his lines accordingly because you're now not just defending Wise, Black, McKenna, and Basher. You have to add a whole other group to that mix. As Oasis, Wise, Black, and Kai Uchaz will jostle with one another, but the Rebels once again clear. They have the horses they want and safe. But tickets are available for tomorrow's game. Puck drop will be 7 o'clock. We'll see who has the advantage early on. As Kai Uchez, though, will try to turn the tide. Right now, it's Tigers 2, Rebels no score. Formag takes a hard crack from Krebs. Long shot, big rebound. Bernie trying to fall up, and he gets knocked away. Another shot. It's going to roll underneath McCallum, but all he can do is just... Now it's through traffic. It's off the stick. Trying to bat away as Formatic behind that wraparound. Knocked down by Krebs, and now Parsons pushing and shoving with Formag. He falls. That's Krebs. Now he'll just get roughed up by good buddy Kai Uchaz. Formack taken to the ice by Krebs as well. And there's some horse callers going out. Breakaway. Gavin McKenna for the third. Five hole. Scores! But I don't think they have the stats right. They have Cade Lindstrom one for five on draws. That just does not feel right. Well, it feels harsh. That feels wrong. <laughs> But the Tigers will recover. Then Wiseblatt ran over his own man in Gavin McKenna. So that allows Red Deer to get right back to work. 24 seconds into this first period, or second period, I should say. It's first sequence offensively for the Rebels. They knock it down with a high stick, though. Wiseblatt exits. Nice clean feed for Josh Van Mulligan. Ahead for McKenna. Takes a bump for Mayo, trying to kick it ahead. Is St. Martin in, in pursuit on the near wall. Andreessen couldn't hold at the line. And now the puck comes out. Parsons just gets rid of it. And allows the Tigers to regroup and change. Chase Woodski on the short side. Tigers go up 4 0. We talk about opportune goals. It was the one by McKenna. You can really let your hair down a little bit. Now you're up four. And still play with that edge, but it's 4 0 Tigers here in the first or in the second period of game number one. Of the East quarterfinal. And Josh Van Mulgan, if you count the regular season, that's just his third goal. As Oasis Wiseblack got clipped in the neutral zone. Puck taken, and now he'll just send it for Andreessen. Fans on the pass, he'll get crunched by Dwayne Jean Jr. And now the puck's loose. Lindgren trying to get free with it. And Shane Smith will also join the party on the point parade. Tigers up 4 0. As Parsons pinches, sharp angle. Now it's Bourne on it as Mayo just gets rid of it. Nate Corbet with a hard bump, and expect to see a lot more Nate Corbet here. If the play when Lindstrom steps onto the ice in 10 seconds. Oasis wise, but I can't win the draw though, so good start for the Rebels. As Weisblatt trying to get it free. Hands off some room. Sharp angle. Basha walks out and his drive blocked by the stick of Weir. Lost it for a moment. Now the Tigers gonna be able to circle. Good shovel play by McKenna, but cut off by Joseph. And now Lindstrom's gonna help out. McKenna gets the puck free for Basha. Back to it. Mercic lets it fly into the glove of Witzke with Lindstrom lining up on the far side bumper. Or sorry, not the bumper, that's just on the, on the wall. <laughs> My apologies. As on the back play by Lindstrom, a good win by Wiseblatt to McKenna. Down low for Basha. Lots of traffic in front now as it's net front. Wiseblatt trying to shoot it. Fanned, trouble, shorthanded break. Here comes Chai Uchaz. Mercy trying to get back to Joseph in. Stopped by McCallum. 
Oh, I'm able to squeeze it tight and get the whistle. And off the face off as Chet Larson trying to push it ahead. Just 20 seconds left in the Hunter Mayo boarding penalty, but Larson almost took it away. Actually does, but then couldn't get a shot away. Given the business by St. Martin, now the Tigers will take off. Just feathered ahead by McKenna to St. Martin. He'll spin away from a check, trying to work back to the point. Can't. Rebels will clear. And that'll do it for the abbreviated power play for the Tigers. Both teams have had power plays. Red Deer's 0 for 2. Tigers 0 for 1. Chip play by Smith on the stretch by Josh Van Mulligan, who's got his first of the playoffs here in the second period to increase the lead to 4-0 in favor of the home side Medicine Hat Tigers in Game 1 of the Eastern Conference quarterfinal. Uchaz trying to walk in. That's taken away by McCann. And he'll move it ahead for St. Martin. Trying to drop it. Two on one. McCann into the glove of Wutski. And just before the seven-minute mark, it's 4-0 Tigers. Well, Tigers up 4-0. Off the wall, Lindgren in for Uchaz. Cut off by Van Mulgen, but it's back for Lind. Trying to bust in as hits the paddle of Ethan McKell. Now it's a loose puck. Uchaz bats it in. He scores. What a play by Kai Uchaz. Was that high stick that it looked like right? It's an excellent play by Kai Uchaz. Absolutely. And now him and Oasis Wise Blatt will lock horns. That puck gets knocked down by Krebs. Just got rid of it enough that the Rebels had to tag up on their shoot in. It's now Oasis Wise Blatt. Open seam for Parsons. Trying to get to center. Does for Mack. will let him know that this is just game one of a potential seven game series between the Rebels and Tigers. It's 4 1 now. As Uchaz from Lind will be the time of that goal. And then Parsons will give Uchaz an extra rough right after. And Krebs throws the body as well on Carson Latimer. And the Tigers get out of it. As here comes McKenna with St. Martin off the wall, trying to kick it ahead for his over. You kind of forget how big Caden Lindstrom is until you stand beside him. Not, not small. People, not many people can stare me eye to eye, <laughs> but he true. can. Clean opportunity here, but it's going to be encroachment by the Tigers as a Mersick or so Wiseblatt now comes in. Behind center is Mersick on the draw for Wiseblatt. Tigers gotta be careful here. As now the puck is down, tied up. Lindstrom will get it free back to the point. McKenna settles the puck down. Middle of the blue now for Wiseblatt, left circle. Keeping. Now off to the corner. Basha with Lindstrom parked right in front of Chase Woodski. Now here's a chance. Lindstrom trying to walk out front. Sharp angle stopped by Woodski. And a chance for Josephson to clear. It's gonna be wedged by McKenna and they are giving Lindstrom a lot of space. And forgive me for not catching it sooner. It's Blue Swick a four minute double minor for slew footing. Okay, sorry, I did not see that either. As now it's gonna be tied up and the Tigers will get it back. McKenna right down Main Street, his drive! Ripped it wide on the glove side of Wutski. Now McKenna in for Mercic, right circle. His shot redirected by Lindstrom and now Larson. Now it's Andreessen. Waiting at the slot is Smith, but the puck goes to the point. McKenzie a drive. It's redirected and stopped by Woodski again. Good job on this so-called second power play unit, but now it's open ice. Here's Van Mulgan behind the net, keeping. Now a shot by Andreessen. Stopped again. It settled. St. Martin, his shot stopped. Rebound. Swept that by Van Mulligan. And taken away by the Rebels and cleared. Yeah, nice job there by the... Second unit of the Tigers power play, moving the puck well and handling pressure. The Rebels on the penalty kill. Love the pressure of the puck carriers and try and force those turnovers. Handle it well there. As the Tigers regroup, Wiseblatt to the point for Mersick. Finds Basha middle of the slot, now off, in, off a stick for McKenna. Across Mersick, lots of traffic in front with Wiseblatt there. Now it's Mersick from Lindstrom. To the top of the point, again McKenna. Starts, stops away from Bernie. Nowhere to go, so he circles. Right circle on the near side. Now Mersick trying to walk in. We're going to have a penalty behind the... To McCallum and the Rebels now down just two, 4-2. Four, two. See how the rest of this game goes. For the period at least. Josh Van Mulgan gets there for Max. Going to ram him on the end wall. Tigers take it, so there's the first special team's goal of the playoffs for the Rebels. As now here's McKenna ahead. Open, coming late. Hodas! Right on. What's... Back inside co-op place. 5.35 left to go in the second period. Tigers up by a count of four to two. It was four nothing at one point in this game, but the Rebels have battled back. Two straight for them, including a power play mark by Carson Latimer. As McKenna in for Wiseblatt, his pass to the point is gonna be Hodas. Fakes now gets away. 
curls, no shot though. And Mayo trying to exit, finds Carson Burney. He'll be taken back, but it goes right into the bench. Uh, had one on the tee, just gassed, tired, can't get his bearings on his side. Now, Andreessen on the wall before it's taken by the Rebels captain, Kai Uchaz, once more. And Mats Lindgren will settle the puck down, walks to the middle. Now one-time drive, Mayo kick save, rebound! Uchaz in tight, it's still loose! And this place might have come unglued if... Big three got that one past Chase Witzke. Into the final minute, Tigers leading by a count of four to two. A hard stern check by Mercik on Mats Lindgren. Ahead, Tigers had to hurry there. That was a late change. But luckily did not have possession at the time, so that works out in their favor. Trying to dig it loose is Lindstrom off the wall, a race for it. Can McKenna get there? He can. He has a trailer, Lindstrom, one-timer. Stopped by Witzke. Collected, St. Martin a second follow-up drive. Ripped it high, and the Rebels will get out of dodge. Moving the puck far side as Hodes hits some equipment, but flipped in out to center by St. Martin, gloved down by Matteo Fabrizi. With 15 seconds left, the Tigers look to try and carry a two-goal lead as pinned on the wall right behind the end. We've seen this movie before, it didn't end well. But the Tigers are able to alleviate pressure, and the clock will sound off. Formatic late shot. At Messinat Tigers with a 4-2 lead over the Red Deer Rebels. Tigers going from right to left on their your radio dials. The Rebels in their road whites from left to right. That opening pace off brought to you by the O'Reilly Management Group of Scotia Wealth. Talk to them today about your financial game plan. Tigers win the draw and they'll make the first move. Gino DiPali and Lance Dahl along with you for this one. Great crowd here at Messinat. Long shot from the point by Van Mulgan. Knocked down by Woodski and then trying to bat out of midair was McKenna. He just juggled his way to possession for a moment before the Rebels take off. This is going to be a very important first five minutes for the Tigers. It's a one-time chance. Lindgren, he lost someone on that. And he'll fire it wide, but St. Martin can't get rid of the puck right away. Linda's shot's going to be blocked by St. Martin, and puck will just roll over the blue line. So the Tigers and Rebels regroup is now set. And he'll just feather it ahead on the lob dump in. Taken by Mayo, now back come the Rebels. Here's Latterer, forced to the outside by Andreessen as he'll just stiff arm that Tiger defender and Rebels take it, or that's the Tigers are taking it and good play. Here's McKenna, two on one with St. Martin. He keeps across St. Martin. Hit fresh air on that late pass to from McKenna but the Tigers keep coming for a moment. Now Mayo takes it back as St. Martin just finishing his check on Quinton Bourne who gets handcuffed as he goes past his own bench. Chipped in by the Tigers as puck will be covered by Witzke as a little bit of a snow job from McKenna. He gets surrounded by... You feel good about yourself here. Clean win by the Rebels. One last gasp on this power play. Weird touch play, but oh, Josephson trying to hold it in. The puck back inside. Co-op place high above here at the Bob Ridley Broadcast Center. Game one of the Eastern Conference quarterfinal. It's the Tigers four, the Red Deer Rebels two. Gino DiPaoli and Lance Dahl along with you as the Tigers look to... Strike first in this best of seven as Gavin McKenna able to move for St. Martin as Matteo Fabrizi knocks him right down to the ice. And Jay Swear will now pick things up for the Rebels. Dwayne Jean Jr. settles the puck in. It's just a tough start in that first period for the Rebels as they've settled in and playing Red Deer Rebels hockey for the most part. Yeah, pace has come down just a little bit, right? And the Tigers are flying in the early moments of this game throwing hits on everything that moved. Haven't seen as much of it. They're going to call icy. I thought that's get into the flow of their offense. Shots are dead even at 29 now. As Weisblatt can't win the draw. Lindgren tied up by St. Martin. Josephson harassed by Weisblatt. But now Reed Andrees is going to try and take off on the far wall. Lindgren will have a lay of the land. DDD pass to Hunter Mayo. As the Rebels try to turn up ice. But cut off by Weisblatt. Will go up Weisblatt against Kai Uch. Has clean win. But too good of a win. Rebels have to tag up. Tigers look to kill it off. And out over the box comes Andrew Basha. The Tigers kill it off. Krebs just gets rid of it to neutral. 8.49 to go in regulation. Tigers hanging on to a 4-3 lead. They scored the first four. Well, the Rebels have responded with three straight. It all starts off a of bad bounces and a hand-eye coordination play by Kai Uchaz. McKenna gets bumped by... They mentioned it, you, Chaz, but Hunter St. Martin trying to go after it once more. Weisblatt tracking Derek Thurston. He 
for it's taken back by the Rebels. A quick play on the near or the far side wall. Taken by Parsons. He'll try to shoot it. He gets clipped, and there's going to be a power play to the tie. As Caden Lindstrom tied up, it's in his feet, able to work it back to the point, just kept in by McKenna. Got rid of it for Mercy. Now down low, here's Weisbach trying to jam play. As tied up and stopped by Witzke and cleared by Red Deer. And as it's a hit to the head penalty. And now McKenna. Head fakes, now hands off. Here's Mercy trying to turn and burn. Tigers come in onside. He'll do it himself. Mercik in. Great stop by Witzke. A nice job there by Tomas Mercik reading the coverage and saying, if I have the room, I'm going to continue forward. As the Rebels were expecting a drop off, he takes it all the way to the net. Sometimes that just appears out of nowhere. And now Weisblatt drop, trouble, shorthanded breakaway. Bernie, stop by McCall. May have hit a little bit of an edge, and I don't know if that got through or not. Kind of hit a dead spot on the ice. I, the Tigers, they playing with fire. But the Tigers able to recover, and they'll reload once more. And here comes Andrew Basha. Looking to make amends, spins away from Mayo as Formax going to have all kinds of time and space. Of course, these two teams when it came to the penalty kill were right beside each other when it was all said and done. Fifth and sixth, I believe, in the Western Hockey League. Now Andrew Basha doubles back. Uchaz all over him. Tigers, they flew a little too close to the sun there. Unable to cash in, but one last call. Here's Mercik as the Go Tigers Go chance. Start out here at Co-op Place, but that won't help as the Rebels get rid of it. McCallum has to be careful, he'll quickly rim it. And it does come out to McKenna cleanly. Touch to play for Lindstrom. Tigers just stay on side. Here's Lindstrom with a drive. And that shot goes high. Taken by St. Martin to the point. Off the skates of Andres and he can't hold it in. McKenna tags up, waits for Lindstrom to get over. And now here's Van Mulgen trying to bust in. Back for Andreessen. crossed up. Now it's Van Mulgen who's in below the red line, but Josephson's gonna pick his pocket and the penalty has expired to Dwayne Jean Jr. Tigers keep coming though. As Latimer fights off Andres, now Sharp and McCallum. After that great start by the Tigers in the first, the Rebels didn't go away. And the Rebels have come back. It's 4-4 with 5.41 to go in regulation time. Let's see what the final five minutes has in store. Cayuchas out front, but now St. Martin will try to dash ahead. Trying to feather it for McKenna. Sharp angle. Trying to get it to him, but the puck goes free. Here's Parsons. Just moves it for St. Martin. Far corner. Out for McKenna. He buzzes. To the net. Trying to find Weisblatt, who snuck in behind everybody, but couldn't get a shot away. Krebs feathers that up. Weisblatt couldn't get it through, and now the Rebels turn back. Larson tracked by Krebs. And the Rebels will let that roll on its edge. Icing's going to be called. <laughs> oh, boy. That's close. So, four minutes to go. As Oasis Weisblatt, they're going to call Uchaz in early. He's waved out. So, Jet Larson takes his turn against the 19-year-old forward who had finished the season with 91 points. It's Krebs fights off Uchaz, but Rebels keep it in. Puck rolls to McKenna, he can't get there in time. Weir will keep the Rebels in for a moment. Now it's a relay to McKen or to St. Martin. Turns, now trying to feed it ahead, but stolen by Red Deer, now they'll take off. Here's Larson, one-on-one -on -one against Krebs. Forced up the middle, now Bourne. Waits is thrown towards, it's off the stick of Larson, taken by Hunter St. Martin as Weisblatt trying to get rid of it and cross ice. It'll go to Krebs. Now has a look, finds an open Bogdan Sotis. He's on an island, waits back. This is still a long shift for them. Long shooting as Harsani will go after it. Now trying to get it to the point. Krebs will settle it down. Long shot's going to hit a body and go wide. Now McKenna off the bench. Hill circle. What magic does he have left? Feeds in behind of that wraparound. Coming off the bench. Weisblatt trying to let it go. Well, that's Parsons, I should say. That's kept in, though, by the Tigers. Harsani, good deking abilities. Now McKenna trying to move it up for St. Martin. Kick back to the point. Krebs has a look, now just rims it. Out of the reach of St. Martin, reaching for it is Parsons. He'll keep it in, good hard check. Now there's some room for McKenna to walk down Main Street. He's in, the deke, McKenna! Still loose, side of the net, it comes out. But the Rebels will get it at clear. McKenna almost ended it. As now Krebs walks in, his drive. Rips it wide, trying to go short side. 
and it'll roll out. Hodis quickly back for Krebs again on side. Just trying to get rid of it and move it to the far corner. St. Martin greets the puck as Josephson watches him. Now Weisblatt middle of the blue. Nowhere to go with the puck. Starts and stops. Latimer will just power his way and knock that out. Kept in by Hodis. He'll shoot it into the glove of Witzke and he will. Great strategy. As Weisblatt in to take draw a clean win. And all Lindgren's going to do is try to relay it. That's not the worst move. And great job by Hodis to win that foot race as they get tied up after. And they'll see. And the next goal is the one that matters. Clean win by the Tigers, but too hot of a pullback as Krebs has to feed it for Hodis. And now here's another chance with 15 seconds. See what the Tigers have left. Handed off, but McKenna lost it. Rebels looking to come back with it. Touch play to Joseph. And now it's Brigley. Watch by McKenna, it's going to be gloved down by Weisblatt, and this will be the first overtime game of the East. We're here. Tigers did not have an overtime in the playoffs last year. The Rebels had two. They were one for one and one, both in that first round against Calgary. And it was a 6-5 win to win a series against the Hitman last year. Ben King got the winner in that one. Obviously not here, as now here's Gavin McKenna trying to sneak in, but it's taken back by... Jace Weir, now the Rebels on the run. Far side, Lind waits, holds, now fires through traffic. Lind will get it out. Shane Smith return to center. He does stay and just got that over. Could have been icing close. But Thurston will take it back for Red Deer. But stolen. McKenna on against Uchaz. Got some room. He fires. Good blocker stop by Woodski. Up on the wall as that's kept in by Wiseblatt. Now McKenna behind the net. Starts and stops. Keeps, stick handles, now pressed by Thurston, needs some help from Weisblatt. He'll get crunched by Uchaz, and now trying to feed for St. Martin, but it's taken away. Larson, one-on-one -on -one against Krebs, good job there to cut him off. And St. Martin stick handles away from trouble, has to get rid of it, goes right into the face of Uchaz, trying to find Quinton Bourne, but taken away, and now McKenna can't locate the puck in front of the clock. Get your tickets now, ticks.ca. Do it while you're listening to this broadcast, if you didn't come tonight. You could have won over 15 grand in the 50-50. A long shoot, and it's going to be ice. Oasis Weisblatt ties him up, and some support from Reed Andreessen. The Tigers will get rid of it, and now they go to work. As it's chipped ahead, St. Martin and McKenna trying to track that down, but Hunter Mayo on the far side, Latimer cuts it off. Long shot, it's going to go way wide, and Benton Mulligan has to back up as Lynn just gets to the Tiger blue line where Oasis Weisblatt will try to chip it ahead for McKenna. Not much of a chip in in deep as now here's Lindgren, cross ice pass on the tape for Lindgren, drops for Lynn, his shot's off a stick and wide as Josephson will recollect. On the far wall, Latimer, tied up by Van Mulligan. People yelling for a penalty? Nope, not happening. Chipped ahead by Weisblatt as now St. Martin will have to get to center. Yes, have them on the ready, you never know when they might come. Don't again. play a song. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have like some elevator music, I guess, I don't know. Tigers in overtime here. Their first overtime in a lot of these players' careers at high level hockey. As Hayden Harsani, lots of ice time for him in this overtime. He's out there with McKenna and Mercic. Ace off to the blocker side of Chase Woodski. Game one of the Eastern Conference quarterfinal. This is the first overtime of the WHL playoffs as Ollie Josephson into Lockhorns with Oasis Weisblatt. He's waved out. No, he's not. He'll go back in. Weisblatt, it's a clean win, but worked back by McKenna. That puck's going to roll on an edge and stop right in front of the Tiger net as Reed Andreessen will have a leg up off the wall, chipped by St. Martin, but that's as far as the Tigers will get on this instant. And here comes Hunter Mayo. In for Franasek for Manic. Rimmed and a race for it. Reed Andreessen squashed on the wall, but able to take it back as here's Oasis Weisblatt. Off a of body and goes to McKenna. One on two. Here's McKenna keeping, waiting, looking for some help. Has it in St. Martin. Hill circle at the near side. To the point, Krebs with traffic just sends it through. It takes a bounce and off the back wall. That's an excellent play by Chase Woodski. It's Oasis Weisblatt now. The Lockhorns with Joseph in it will be pulled back by the Tigers. Weisblatt locates the puck. Now it's Kachkowski is. Getting some reps in overtime. He's out with Reed Andres and just trying to get rid of it. But Josephson will muscle his way to keep it in offensively for the moment for Red Deer. But it's taken back by Weisblatt. Now everybody backs up a little bit. But Tigers trying to not force anything, but off the wall. Then there's that play to Hunter St. Martin. 
Turns his back to Lindgren, but in the offensive zone. Trying to feed it ahead for Andres, who is in tight. He has to back up. Now off the bench as Lindstrom almost took it. Now the Rebels might have some room to run. Far side, Josephson in for Latimer. Holds on to it at the point. It touched up as Josephson put his boot over. That should be too many men. As Oasis wise, Vlad and, Oli and Ollie Josephson tied up. As Good job by McKenna to stick. Handled out of trouble. Got free. Waits back door as St. Martin was in tight. But now it's circled. Knocked down as it's just a car wreck on the near half wall. Kept in by Van Mulgen for just a moment. All St. Martin can do is just keep that as far away from a transition play for Red Deer. This is overtime. And the score reads 4-4. That score brought to you by... Murray Hyundai, home of the five-year, 100,000 kilometer warranty. Lindgren will find a way to feed for Carson Burney and almost a miscommunication, almost a turnover by the Rebels, but they recover. Mayo in for Latimer. Forced to the outside by Katch or by Andreessen. He'll work to it, but Latimer again, almost lost it to Mersick, but he's able to stay on it. Great play by the Rebels. Now Josephson, some trouble, sharp angle. And it looked like that may have hit McCallum or not, but, and then, McKenna trying to tank off on the far half wall, but Uchaz says not a chance in a situation like this. McKenna finds open ice and it's Reed Andreessen. He'll come to center now back up. In for Harsani. Off the wall and it's going to be Jop. And Reed Andreessen with 7.09 to go. Trying to find Oasis wide. Vlad the puck hits a boot but taken back by the third year defenseman in Reed Andreessen. Now Van Mulgan trying to dig it out as well. As it's a good play for McKenna. Shovels it, and that's going to go straight up and out of play, but it's in the offensive zone, so it's not going to be delay of game. So everybody can relax. Less than seven minutes to go here in the first. Overtime here. Lost it. Or Mag tied up on the wall. It's taken by Red Deer. Good play by Krebs to send it back. Just hustling over was Oasis Weisblatt to make sure that wasn't too many men. Pretty much in the, in the fetal position trying to get over. Good play by Formanic, but now here come the Tigers again. McKenna ahead for St. Martin just out of his reach. Now Weisblatt keeps it in on side. He's had 10 game winners this year. Overtime, his specialty, he's got three. Now that was three aside in those ones. A OT winner in Vancouver, an OT winner in Lethbridge. One here against the Red Deer Rebels in early January. A long shoot is going to be knocked in front of Chase Woodski's net. And the Rebels will settle the puck down. Hunter Mayo has a look as McKenna will track him and the Rebels aren't gonna hurry with five minutes to go in the first overtime. It's a real game of chess between Dave Strooch. Would you like to see Chase Witzke? Off the face off, Oasis wise, but can't control the draw and it will be rimmed. Here's Kalen Lynn. Out to center, the Rebels looking to play spoiler on opening night of the playoffs in Madison Hat. It'll be a play, nice play up by Kaczkowski looking for St. Martin. Lost the handle, but able to get it free. McKenna, two on two with Weisblatt, trying to go through the legs of Mayo. It's not going to work that easily. And the Rebels turn him back. Tigers regroup, Kaczkowski across to Hodes. Ahead for Harsani. The puck hops over his stick, though, so Hunter Mayo will take over for Red Deer. Now it's Lindgren picking his spot, trying to send it hit, but Kaczkowski up on it at his own blue line. Puck rolls back for Hodes. He's also got an old McKenna, but... Now back at St. Martin for Weisblatt. Ahead for Hodes, now for McKenna. Turns and here come the Tigers again. Fed ahead, Hunter St. Martin can't get a shot away. Turn back as now Lindgren will pin him on the wall. Two Rebels go after it, but it's stirred free by St. Martin and McKenna trying to shovel it to Van Mulgen at the point. Lind can't clear. Good job by Van Mulgen who has a goal in this game to keep it alive momentarily, but the puck comes back out and Tomas Mersic has a lay of the land. Van Mulgan trying to go ahead. It's off a of body. It's going to go to Vladimir. Breakaway! Stopped by McCallum! 